Now, I had heard of Bigfoot, but I had always dismissed it as a bunch of hooey. However, I was thinking Sasquatch, just as Mary whispered, I think it's a Bigfoot. But with no other defense, we huddled in the center of the camper as far from the sides as possible and quietly waited for the walls or the roof to come crashing in on us. At 4 a.m., the camper was violently shaken again, followed by several hard slams on the side and then strange crunching sounds outside. The sky began to lighten up and the rain came to an end, allowing us a vague view of some large dark shapes moving around the camp when we heard odd-sounding voices that felt like they had surrounded us after the rain had stopped. That was followed by deep, ungodly howls as loud as a train horn that seemed to be directed right at the camper. It made the louvered windows rattle violently and left our ears ringing. 